Polish officials are saying 21 people are dead and at least another 20 are injured after a fast-moving fire tore through a three-story building. The building housed homeless families in northwestern Poland and was run by the local government. Some residents were forced to leap out of their windows to escape the flames. Poland's president, Lech Kaczynski, visited the site and is suggesting the construction appeared to be subpar and may have contributed to the intensity of the blaze. The president has also declared three days of national mourning in memory of those who died. There are nearly 80 people registered as the residents in the building at the time of the blaze. Poland's National Firefighter spokesman says not all of the residents have been accounted for and the death toll could rise. Now a look into entertainment with Violet Kanyan, who has the scoop on former American Idol winner coming to an arena near you. Here's the scoop. American Idol gives many hopefuls a chance for success. One Idol winner took his success to the Roxy stage, and I was there for all the excitement. Taylor Hicks, winner of season five of American Idol, performed at the Roxy for anticipating fans. How's everyone doing at the Roxy? Good? Thank you very much for coming out and having a party with us this evening. He released his self-titled debut album in 2006, selling more than 700,000 copies. However, that wasn't enough for Hicks's record label, Arista Records, who dropped him from their label. Hicks just released his second album, The Distance, through his own record label, Modern Womp Records. His fans, known as the Soul Patrol, haven't stopped supporting him since his idol days. I consider anyone who's a fan part of the Soul Patrol. Some people think it's like an extreme member, but I think anyone who's a fan is part of the Soul Patrol. I was a fan uh, from American Idol. Uh, I, uh, it was the only person I've ever voted for in American Idol uh, because he's more my generation. Well, this is my first Taylor Hicks show, just Taylor Hicks, but I was a fan with American Idol. I was like on the phone, vote, 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 because I'm from the South and, you know, you have to represent. And I think he does a good job doing that. Hicks gave his fans a little bit of everything. performing on stage at the Pantages as a teen angel in Greece. If you want to check out more of this southern soulful singer, you can go to his website at taylorhicks.com. In Hollywood, I'm Violet Kanyan for Valley View News. Britney Spears performed at Staples Center last week, but her Vancouver show earlier this month did not leave fans happy. She left the stage for more than 30 minutes, blaming cigarette smoke from the crowd. Britney ended her show by telling the audience to not smoke weed and to drive safely. Simon Cowell may be leaving American Idol. In an interview with UK Mirror, Cowell says he is getting tired of traveling for his three TV shows and Idol would be the first to go. He says he can't imagine not doing Britain's Got Talent and X Factor, and American Idol is more likely to go because he is under a one-year contract. Miley Cyrus is the most popular 16-year-old in America right now. Besides her hit Disney television show and both her Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus music albums, this pop princess now has the number one movie in theaters appropriately titled Hannah Montana, The Movie, 
Will Miley finally reveal her pop star identity? You'll have to check out the film to find out. This film debuted at number one with $34 million worth of tickets sold in its opening weekend. Universal Pictures' Fast and the Furious and DreamWorks' animation Monsters vs. Aliens rounded out the top three movies. And in baby news, our favorite vampire slayer and her husband are expecting their first child. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. have been married for six years and say they are very excited. Both have new projects coming up. Gellar will serve as executive producer for a new HBO pilot, The Wonderful Maladies, as her husband shoots the comedy pilot, No Heroics, for ABC. Pop star Madonna still wants to adopt a second child from Malawi, despite a court ruling preventing her from doing so. Madonna lost an appeal in her bid to adopt a four-year-old girl. The judge warned against celebrity adoptions, saying they could lead to child trafficking. The pop star says she wants to provide a loving family environment and the best education and health care possible for the child. The court has not granted a date for Madonna's next hearing. That's it for entertainment. Back to you, Cynthia. When the news of the homecoming of President Obama's dog came out, the White House offered the Washington Post an exclusive story, but TMZ broke the story on their website with all the details. The dog apparently came from the same kennel that Senator Ted Kennedy bought his Portuguese water dogs. The Kennedy family will be presenting the first family with their new puppy. The Obamas will name their new dog, Bo, after the rock legend, Bo Diddley. There's a place in Simi Valley that is drawing people of all ages to shoot their bow and arrows. Valley View News reporter Tiara Nowlin has the story. This kid is armed and dangerous to this target, that is. That's because he, along with many other children and adults, practice archery on the weekends. The Canejo Valley Archery Club offers public lessons every Saturday at the Tapo Canyon Park. Through their Junior Olympic Archery Development Program, participants can shoot from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for $5. The program aims to introduce people to archery and to help them develop their shooting skills. The organization has drawn both boys and girls to the sport. Instructor John Downey says archery is a great hobby for families. Where mom and dad and all the brothers and sisters can all shoot. Uh, it's also great because the girls have every bit as uh, much a chance of beating uh, their bigger brother in archery. In fact, most of the girls usually pick it up a little faster than the boys. Participants are given equipment including the bow and arrows. Instructors explain the safety and shooting rules. You're starting to understand your form. When it is time to shoot, coaches help archers with their technique. Got it, girl. Awesome. That was an excellent shot. High five. Good girl. On any given Saturday, about 100 to 150 people will participate throughout the four-hour event. Their ages range from five to adults in their 70s. Five-year-old Joad member Jean-Luc Castel recently placed at a competition. I was competing for the gold one, but I actually got third. Beginners will shoot from five meters away. The next distance is about 12 meters. The more advanced group shoots from about 18 meters away or further. Teenage Joad member Tyler Riggs has already won some medals for archery and hopes to add to his collection. I actually kind of want to... Um get first in my whole division out of the uh, United States. He is one of many members of the youth program that compete either locally, nationally, or worldwide. Canejo Valley Archers have had one Olympian and three Olympic qualifiers. They say they all started in this Saturday program. In Simi Valley, I'm Tiara Nowlin for Valley View News. Thank you for watching Valley View News. I'm Ashley Atwood. I'm Cynthia Martinez. I'm Violet Kanyan. And I'm Sunny Riker. Thank you guys for watching and good night.